Hi ladies, I apologize for my appearance this morning. I drug myself out of bed early because the house is quiet and I'm alone right now, so I'll be able to make my video in peace. Seems like today I'm looking back Yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll see further Than my little head allows me to So it's Saturday morning And I think I'll start off this video with the topic Am I a morning or a night person? And my answer would have to be that I am a night person I can't stay up too late generally at night, but after I put the kids to bed, um, there's always a few hours that I savor for John and me time, <laughs> adult time, quiet time. Uh, I love it after the kids go to bed. But if I'm up early in the morning, I have to have my coffee in this gorgeous cup that my mother gave me. You can see that my absolute favorite cup, Dancing Goddesses. Um, I have to wake up every morning with coffee. And to answer Jamie's question, what do I order at Starbucks? It is a hazelnut white mocha um, with whipped cream. It has to have whipped cream. And I know you had another question, Jamie. Oh, a second language. Um, I've kind of really been into learning Spanish lately. I'm not taking any classes and I have not bought any Rosetta Stone to teach me, but I have been breaking down whatever Spanish that I hear and like trying to learn what those words mean. And I don't know, I've been doing that for the last couple months and I've been picking up more and more Spanish. I definitely cannot hold a conversation in Spanish, but when I read it anywhere, I can usually figure out what half of it or more says now, which is great, but I will be learning more Spanish. I know it's not the most exotic of languages to learn, but it's just something that's been interesting me lately. Uh, to move on to Janelle's questions. Um, what do we consider cheating? And the other question was if I knew a friend's partner was cheating, would I say anything? Um, so to answer the first one, I do think a kiss is cheating um, or cheated if it was just one kiss. I guess anything that's like hidden intentionally from the other partner, I sort of consider cheating. Even if it's just a friendship that's being intentionally hidden and not shared with um, your partner can be, I think, devastating to a relationship and cause problems with trust. So I think just I guess even the most simple things, if you're hiding that simple thing from your partner, a kiss or be it, you know, emotional hugs even, that you are intentionally hiding from your partner is, in my opinion, cheating because it is going to cause complications within your relationship that that's my perspective on it. From a cheater myself, I've gone through problems in that world. I've learned a lot and I definitely don't go down that road anymore, but I, I've seen those things cause problems in my relationships and I don't like to see them happening. I am so into honesty in a relationship it's my big, like, number one thing. We just, you have to be honest with your partner. You have to be honest with yourself and let yourself know what you really want and definitely share that with your partner because 
nothing good is going to come from it if you don't be honest with yourself or your partner. Um, if a friend's partner was cheating and I knew that they were cheating or like just did it once, cheated, I guess it really depends on how good of a friend that person is, but in all reality, if my friend knew that my partner was cheating or was hiding anything from me, and I found out that they knew about it and didn't tell me, I probably wouldn't consider that person a very good friend. So I would probably end up saying something to my friend if I knew that something like that was going on. If I wanted to keep that relationship with that friend, maybe you're more friends with the person that is out there cheating. And maybe you don't want to say anything because you'd rather hold on to that relationship than the relationship with the other partner. Um, so yeah, that's my take on that. Oh, and opposite sex, does it have to be opposite sex to be cheating? I don't believe so. I think that it can be a person of the same sex, because even if it is, I mean, there's an attraction there, it's a person, <laughs> um, it doesn't matter if they're female or male and who's cheating on who that way, um, I still consider that cheating if you're hiding it. Um, and not being honest with your partner about your like true intentions or feelings towards that person. Just be honest and gosh, it really makes things so much easier. A uh, question for everybody this week is where do you see yourself at the age of 30? Um, not where you wanted to see yourself, but now that you're on the path that you are on and the decisions you've made up to now that led you to here, where do you think you will be at age 30? So I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and let's hope the sun shines for the first weekend in September. I have my fingers crossed and um, Callie, we'll see you on Monday.